What's up beautiful people on the other side. Today's video I wanted to share a few projects that I'm looking at and I think have huge 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 potential. I want to share these projects with you and I want you to definitely have a look at them if you feel like these are the projects that you want to follow definitely go follow them and try to get whitelisted for them but let me tell you i'm not a financial advisor i'm just a guy who is making videos on nfts because i love them i research on them every day so do your own research before getting into any project and before we start the video all i would say is if you're interested in content like nfts make sure to do subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and like the video let's get started So our Twitter community is increasing very very quickly and I love that we've already reached 1500 followers on Twitter and soon to reach 1600. If you are following me, uh, you must have participated in this giveaway for a talk what the F. I've given the vital spots for this particular NFT and this was free and now it is sitting at 0 0.06 uh, if i check the floor at this point of time it is 0.1 ethereum so you can imagine if you would have followed me and if you would have entered in this giveaway you could have made 0.1 e easily so that is why i always say guys if you're not following me on my twitter account if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel definitely do that because it will give you a lot of monetary value in future now let's look at the projects that i want to talk about the first project is going to be the zero x office this is an amazing and a new kind of project i've listened to one of their ama and i'm going to share all the information that i've gathered from it so this is by yen and lister and they've created this their own community wherein they're launching this project this is going to be a play to earn project and this is going to be a different kind of play to earn project uh, so what they're planning is they're going to have their own token but this token will not be used in the market so you cannot exchange this token for ethereum this token will be used inside their discord only so uh, if you do hold their nft you will be able to uh, stake that the good part about this is what i have understood is that you whenever you stake an nft with any other project your nft goes into a different contract and then you can't sell it until and unless you unstake it opens it does not give you an option to sell it but in this case what they're saying is you'll be able to stake it you'll be able to generate tokens out of it however the good part about it is that the nft will still be in your wallet it will not be going to some other uh, contract and it will still remain in your wallet so i think you will be able to sell it you can list it and till the time you hold it you'll be able to generate tokens and once you sell it the other person will be able to do it but you'll be left with your tokens now how is this token going to get utilized there is a way i'll be explaining that very very shortly but the good part about this project i felt was that they are targeting other side and yuga labs their main focus their main target is to, to acquire other deeds land so the team's plan is to acquire the deeds land and then create resources on it so as per yuga labs if you do create a lot of resources or if you do create something good on the land and if you're active on it you will be eligible to get a second land so what their plan is uh, they want to create resources on this other side deed land they're going to purchase uh, the other deed land after the mint whatever proceeds they get after the minting they'll be buying other side deed land from it and then working on that particular land so they'll be creating uh, most probably their plan is to create a mansion or something like that which will generate resources on the particular land and then they'll be selling those resources once these resources are sold the money that will be coming in the profit that will be coming in they want to distribute it to the holders only however not the 100 percent amount because a business needs money to get stable and uh not the 100 percent profits will be uh, distributed even if they sell uh, other uh, other deed land in future they are going to distribute the profit to the holders only however not the complete uh, profit that makes sense a uh, some amount of it will be distributed back to the holders and some will be kept in the business to make it functional now how they're going to do it what's the plan this is still not out team is still uh, going to share this info in future and this would definitely be something i'll keep i'll be keeping my eyes on and if i feel that it is something that i should really uh, share i'll be definitely creating a video on it or will be sharing it on my twitter account so again don't uh, forget to follow me there but now so the tokens that you have earned how you are going to utilize them is they're going to create their own marketplace which i think they're going to call broken vending machine and you will be able to use those tokens to buy stuff from that broken vending machine now uh, it might be possible that you're getting uh, uh, 
rare NFT or you're getting an NFT or you're getting whitelist spots, it might be possible that you're getting nothing. So this is the way it is going to be an excited way uh, that you might get something or you might not get something kind of a lottery. They're, all, they're also going to implement web two items like iPhones, MacBooks, iPads, which you can win from these marketplaces these are uh, the cost for this particular web 2 items is going to be coming out from the secondary market royalties so if the project does do well there will be a lot of giveaways from the web 2 world in uh, the marketplace however if the royalties are not that good it will be a bit less so the next good part that i felt about the project was as soon as they buy other deep land all the holders of, the, of this particular nft will become a fractionalized owner of that particular other deep land so you will be uh, you will become you'll be becoming a fractionalized owner now how is this going to work i am still to know this information the ama that i've uh, listened to at this point of time does not have all this information yet but the team has been saying that they'll be giving out a lot more information in future so uh, there is a fractionalized kind of uh, element here which you should definitely know about they're going to uh, generate resources on this particular land and once they do generate the resources they'll be either flipping those resources or flipping the complete land and the profits will be going to the holders how we still do know about it but this is all about the project i think this is a new kind of project they're betting on yuga lab and other deed land and i don't think so it's a wrong bet because uh yuga labs is the biggest 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 uh business in nft and i don't think so they're going anywhere very soon we've recently seen eminem and snooga creating some amazing content on bode Art club also hence i believe yuga lab is there for a very very long time and these guys are trying to acquire as much land as they can and get uh, noticed under Yuga Labs. So once they do that, once you can imagine a person or a wallet holding so many of other deed lands, they're definitely going to get noticed by Yuga Labs and then the story is going to work out in a very different way. The owners, both Lester and Ying, uh, the team has met in Champs Only Discord. Again, they have been there before the mint price, before, before the minting of that particular project and they have been working together for a very long time. So I feel the team looks good. I don't have any other information about them. Uh, I know that Ying has been working in the Web2 world as a contractor for in recent DOS in Windows. However, I was not able to validate that. I'll definitely be talking to team and asking if I can get some LinkedIn links, uh, something like that. But if I do get that, uh, the, the video I'm going to share on my Twitter account and I'm going to definitely link those research under that tweet. So definitely go follow me there. The next project that I wanted to talk about is going to be no alpha here. Again, this is uh, the reason I'm sharing this project is because I feel alpha projects or tool projects do really well in NFT market. People really want to get involved in a community that can give them a lot of alphas or a tool that can help them snipe a lot of stuff or uh, understand NFT market much better. And this is one of those uh, projects. This is an alpha project, although it says no alpha here, but this is going to be an alpha project which is led by Papayo. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Sorry if I'm not. But this project is basically by Papayo and he is uh, the founder of Dark Echelon also. Uh, you can see in his profile it says Dark Echelon NFT and this is by Amir Hussain. So he is from Amir Hussain's environment and I am very very much bullish on Amir Hussain because I believe that Kai has a lot of lot of experience in, partic in NFTs particularly and is doing some great job. And I think he is coming from, his, uh, from Amir's atmosphere and he must have a lot of knowledge. I've been in the Discord and the kind of knowledge that they're giving out i really like it uh, i'm in the project i'm whitelisted for the project i would like to say that so if you are looking for a project that can give you alpha if you're looking for a project that has a good community i would advise definitely get into their discord get a feel how it looks uh what kind of conversation they're having what kind of community do they hold what kind of value they're giving out and definitely check them out and if you do feel like they're good try to get whitelisted for them because they are giving a lot of opportunities to get whitelisted the supply is going to be low so definitely try to get whitelisted and if you do get whitelisted i think alpha projects are really good for a flip also plus uh, they're really good for a long-term hold also because they give out a lot of value when it comes to nfts the next project i wanted to talk about is going to be kiroshi studio so a lot of my uh, followers are asking about uh, solana projects also and that's why i thought why not int uh, introduce kiroshi studios to this video i really like the art of this particular project and that's the reason i'm sharing it they will be having a warrior token i think that's why it is written powered by warrior so definitely Definitely, uh, there will be something related to tokenomics also. Uh, the reason I'm sharing this is because I really like the art of this particular project. You can say the smile is so 
devilicious that I really liked it and I think uh, the devil look on this particular project gives me a good vibes about it if you're not into this project I would say try to get whitelisted for it get into the discord the discord has very less number of people at this point of time I think because it was closed so if you are still looking for a good project get in the discord try to get whitelisted and I think this project can really go to pretty well based on their art usually Solana projects that I've seen in the past does not have an amazing art but this project is something uh, beyond that uh, it has a good art it shows that the community is strong here uh, the kind of interaction on the Twitter account looks nice you can see this also looks really nice so uh, I would highly suggest you to definitely go check them out and if you feel like they are good try to get whitelisted for them but do your own research before getting into anything I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please do subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and like the video plus follow me on my Twitter account because a lot more giveaways are coming thank you